Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw curves using the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, this is a bit challenging, so if you need to watch this video over and over again and try it several times, um, do so and please be patient. Uh, it does need some time to practice. Uh, one of the things you need to know about drawing curves is or just in general working with the pen tool is that uh, it's a great thing to have the grid on. So I have an artboard here. I'm going to go to view, show grid. Th this makes it a little bit easier to um, follow the anchor points and the handles etc. So you will see. Alright, so now we're going to switch to the pen tool. When you wanted to draw straight lines, um, if you have seen my other video, I explained it there. All you need to do is to click, 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 and click, and you have straight lines. But for drawing curves, you need to click and drag. And that will do two things. It will create an anchor point and also will give you handles. So I'm going to start from here. I'm going to click and drag up. If you wanted to make sure it goes up straight, you hold on shift. There you go. So that created my first anchor point and two handles. Then here I'm going to click and drag down. Again, I'm holding shift. Click and drag up. Click and drag down. Click and drag up. Click and drag down. And when you're done, press escape. So what's happening here is uh, there's a natural wave that's happening and uh, the pen tool is basically trying to drive you to draw this constrained curve that looks like a wave, wave wavelength. So that is telling you that the handles like to follow a certain direction. If you want to change these directions you can do that. Let's click and remove this. I'm going to go back to the pen tool and now I want to uh, do upward curves only. So I'm going to click and go up. I'm holding shift again so the line is straight. Click and drag down. I'm going to let it go. So this second handle you see here is determining the direction of the next curve. If I bring this up, the next curve is going to go up. In order to do that, you got to hold Alt or Option for Mac grab it, bring it all the way back here. Let Alt go, click and drag down again. I like to hold Shift to make sure it's straight. Again, let it go, hold Alt, drag it up, click and drag down with Shift, let it go, Alt, drag it up, and so forth. Again, when you're done, you press Escape. If you want to do this in a downward motion, you need to click and drag down. So I'm going to click and drag down. Let it go. Then here, click and drag up. Alt, bring this one down. Click and drag up. Alt, bring this down. Click and drag up. And so forth. So that's how to do curves. I'm going to delete this. You can also modify all this and you don't have to really uh, do a straight lines for handles. For instance, I can click and go diagonally. Go here and now I'm going to have these curves, these diagonal curves occurring. I'm going to press escape to get rid of it and that's what we end up with. But how do we modify all this? You can go to the direct selection tool and click on any of the anchor points. That will give you access to the handles. Then you can modify it. You can drag these anywhere you want. You can bring up up and down. I'm going to click here now to modify this one. So sky is the limit as as far as editing comes in with the pen tool. 
so again you need to master all this to be able to design what you want and draw what you want with the curve tool I will show you a couple of examples um, with upcoming videos but again uh, please make sure you master this first before you move on to the next example thank you for watching